what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today i wanted to go ahead and talk about some call of duty black ops cold war specifically i wanted to take a moment to address the lack of a fun factor associated with this game and to address those out there who are like me grinding for these dark matter camos associated with this year's game but before we go ahead and get into any of that please do me that favor like this video subscribe if you haven't already and go ahead and leave me a wonderful comment down below in the back background there is some call of duty black ops cold war gameplay it is of me utilizing the pistol on apocalypse while grinding for the dark matter camo so do go ahead and enjoy that as we get through the topic of discussion okay that all being said let's go ahead and get into it i am a call of duty vet let's just put that out there i've played just about all of them with the hard exception of infinite warfare because that game was trash all around and a complete dumpster fire the series as a whole is not perfect by any means and it can even be said that it's actually in decline as a result of the integration of microtransactions, skill-based matchmaking, and the, you know, the innovations and involvement associated with money grubbing ass Activision. But every game in the series brought to the table some sort of gimmick or fun factor that, you know, was the staple of said game. For example, you know, I'm talking about the boost jumping and advanced warfare or the specialists and BO3, etc., etc. The point is that something is always at the core of the experience something is always present you know to hold the player's attention and to govern the play for like the masses to keep everything balanced you know what i mean so what exactly is the fun factor in black ops cold war there isn't any the game itself doesn't have one and after playing many 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 hours i've come to the conclusion that this game is busted that it was simply rushed out and that the players overall have been due cold war doesn't bring anything new to the table nothing is innovative and the game is completely built to keep people playing in hopes of having some sort of fun but there is no fun i want to like the game and it's sad to really come to that conclusion after playing so many you know obviously games of it despite all that currently i am still playing the game i am still currently grinding for the dark matter ultra camos and have actually gone through a bit of a process in uh doing so as i've been traveling down that road and i am now approaching the end of said role you know it, it really got me thinking about the core fun factor of the game specifically the hard fact that the grind is the fun factor that the entire game is surrounded by the grind that the series went from innovative content and immersive gameplay to finding ways to manipulate the player base into grinding through methods that are simply not fun i'll give you an example the rpg7 a staple to the franchise and known for its ability to hit hard but also for its wildly inaccuracies the launcher is clearly meant for use against people used to control objectives used to clear out a room or two and to simply put it to get rid of camping little bitches that's exactly what this gun is for now knowing that knowing how the weapon is supposed to be used and knowing that it's inaccurate when you shoot it why did the devs make it a requirement to shoot down aerial score streak with this weapon keep in mind i don't know if you know this or if you haven't played the game the score streak are significantly higher than you they're in the sky they're aerial they're flying around they're not stationary the rpg7 is inaccurate if you shoot it wherever you're aiming is not where it's gonna go i can guarantee you that's not where it's gonna go why would you have us shoot down aerial score streaks or vehicles the vehicle part is the only saving grace and that actually had to be patched in at a later time because if you had the game when it first dropped that vehicles part was not in it no it was just aerial score streaks and, or nothing or bust they did actually patch this in because i think they recognized that this is bf and no one was going to basically be able to complete this moving on i finally got through that challenge and i will say it had nothing to do with any kind of skill or any kind of tactic this requirement alongside a few others i'm talking about those m79 aka the thumper long shot was completely luck based it had nothing to do with my skill as a player or the enemy no completely luck honestly it told me everything i needed to know about the fun factor associated with the game it told me that the devs actually put something in the game that required you to play hundreds of matches potentially no real actual thought went into the development of these challenges they are literally the same throughout all the weapon classes it's just a simple 
people cut and paste jobs. Side note, if you're out there and you are struggling to get through it, the best way to get everything associated with the RPG-7 or the M79, AKA the Thumper, is through hardcore mode. Go to Nuketown, the 24 seven playlist, and knock them challenges out. And when it comes to the vehicles or anything associated with vehicles, just go to Fireteam Dirty Bomb, put on Engineer, float around, shoot stuff out of the sky. You'll be done in no time. It does take time. It is doable, but it is a, you know, a very fun way of actually playing the game. So you're gonna have to grind it out a little bit. And your KD, definitely gonna take a dip, just so you know. Also, I wanted to say, uh, hashtag fuck flag jacket. I just wanna put that out there. Moving on, I want you guys to take the time to think about the game as a whole. In fact, go ahead and load it up while you watch this video. Now, I understand this game wasn't finished and that Treyarch basically had to save the day when Sledgehammer Games bowed out. But this ain't it. They could have done better than this. They should have done better than this. The hitboxes and netcodes are okay most of the time. The servers recently have been a bit of a dumpster fire because of the last update. And overall, it appears that the development as a whole took a dive once they finished the campaign. The campaign, zombies, solid. Multiplayer leaves a lot to be desired. Let's just say that. My little man Skip, you know, we play together all the time and you know, he actually asked me if Black Ops Cold War was worth the purchase. And I, honestly, I didn't really have an answer to give him. A solid answer, that is, because it's worth is relative. And I didn't want to, you know, lay it on him that I believe the game is gutter trash. Again, zombies in the campaign is dope, but we focus on multiplayer. Multiplayer is complete booty right now. And it really shouldn't be like this. You know, I paid money for the game on PS4, PS5. You know, I've really jumped on here and I've been a fan of the series this entire entire time I should be able to come on here and have fun and it's just not the case I'm yet again going through these dark matter challenges and it just hasn't been a positive experience now I'm gonna get through them and I'm gonna be rocking these dark matters in a couple of videos just so y'all know definitely check that out and you know obviously if you're out there and you need some help hit me up and I'll hook you up with a little bit of tips and tricks associated with getting some of these challenges done but that being said I, I just wanted to jump on here for a little while and talk to those that are grinding the game as I am and have recently come to the realization that there isn't much of a fun factor to speak of to those i say ggs battlefield 6 will soon be coming out hopefully it's well hopefully everything works and hopefully that actually can be that competition for call of duty and you know make the series better moving forward but that is a discussion for another time i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here what do you guys all think about all this have you been grinding for the dark matter have you been playing the game have you been enjoying the game do you think cold war was worth it let me hear it down in the comment section below thank you guys so much for taking taking the time to watch my video please do me that favor like subscribe and leave me a wonderful comment down below i appreciate you guys and i'll definitely see you on the next one